Happy Friday, welcome to the weekend. Happy Friday. We're at Hollywood Studios. We've got two hours left, but we're getting to see the nighttime show tonight. It, re it has returned, but we have not seen it. And James took like five hours of naps, so he should be awake the whole time. He's a big, big old kid to be going on a mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. I don't know how. We're going to make it happen. Make it just for you. Do you be making a jiffy to pick your walk? I think this is Jamesy's most repeated ride so far. It's the fourth time, I think. Wow. Most repeated ride, but uh, still not very reactionary. Yeah, he's still just like confused. I, but like Sarah pointed out, he started kicking when he heard Goofy like do his classic gorge. Yeah. Because this Goofy, he doesn't watch as much as the Goofy movie Goofy. Right. This is like Ren and Stimpy make Goofy. That sound. But I think he enjoyed it. He was, he was saying stuff. But yeah. Like, he's still taking it all in. Here, he's, he's like been different developmentally. Yeah. So but this is the oldest version, obviously. I mean, he's the oldest, but like yeah. he's the most cognitively aware of his surroundings. He's we, just. We really just missed some rain, like right before we got here. Yes. Complaining this Jesus. We're gonna do dinner because we still haven't gone grocery shopping. But it's the weekend now. <laughs> yeah. And We're we celebrating time. the kickstart. Yeah. We're gonna go grocery shopping, what but. What should we do? Really, the only other goal we had tonight was. The, the, the nighttime show at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I would like to do the little Disney Junior thing. We gotta check know. out the times. Yeah, I don't know how often that runs because we're go, new to this parent game. Let's go see the times and then go think about food. Because Sarah won. I said Sunset. She said Woody. We just haven't done Woody's in a long time. We only have ever really done that on like vacation styles. Right. What do you want? What do you see? What are you entranced by that bush? The flame? We have been to Hollywood Studios so many times. We've never seen this little survey marker. It's tiny. It's not as big as the other ones. It doesn't even have like the survey information. It's just survey marker. It's tiny, like for scale. We've never seen that before. Did I have gotten the survey marker tattoo instead of this Mickey years ago? <laughs> Ten year regrets. Or should I should I get a new one? I mean. When will Little Voyage of the Little Mermaid come back? Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's... This is the dance party. Over here is the dance party. These meet and greets haven't been in use. Well, I guess Launch Bay is, is the, open. Uh, the on Ariel. Really? Voyage of the Little Mermaid. He has been watching Little Mermaid more recently. So, I'm venturing, I'm testing my eyesight. I think it's 6.30 is the last show. Oh, okay. Alrighty, here are the show times. If anyone is interested. So, we'll have to come back. Everybody else in my family has glasses. Yeah. So like I've always known like my 2020 is gonna go one day. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. As my mom, you and now. my mom always bonded over that. Yeah. And mom ended up needing glasses. So I, maybe you have until your 50s. 
I don't know, because I was fairly convinced that it was six o'clock when we were further away. Hootie hoo! You're really, really cute. And everyone looks at you when everyone we're walking get up around. In your business. And we need to put like a, a something around something around Jeff. <gasps> Who do you see? What a sunset. Where's Slinky Dog? Oh my gosh. Here he comes. Jamesy, look. Are you going to go on that when you're big, kid? I'll take you out now. Guess who's only three inches away from being able to go on this? You. Jamesy. Wow. This is James's. You got your own kids meal. I got tachos. I am very excited for this. Peter got the brisket. Jamesy got the cheese. Wow. Came into Toy Story Land as the sun was setting and leaving as the lights are coming on. That is a good little chapter of the night. Also, our big kid is still eating on the road. So we're just walking up and down Sunset, enjoying the sights and sounds. James is like growling at everything. It's a new thing. He growls a lot. So he's like excitingly growling. And we did, if you watched yesterday's vlog, uh, we did bring his light up Mickey bubble wand. We're gonna find a spot for the nighttime show. We're gonna give it to him, and I think like so excited. It's one of those like classic, like how I put a post on our Facebook group the other day about us watching a picture of us watching Pal Favor Astro, and like just words can't describe watching finally getting to watch like fireworks light up my baby's face. And I have a feeling it's gonna be similar. It's like I can't believe I'm now watching my baby play with a bubble wand in Walt Disney World right before the nighttime spectacular. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> Hold it. What? He's so unsure. <laughs> Jamesy's got his pre-show bottle. Let's see if he dozes, but hopefully he'll be awake for it. But we're bringing him to a fountain, which is like his favorite thing. <sighs> Meh, not your favorite. <laughs> so we're just kind of talking about the like Goldilocks moment we're having right now with the parks. The mixture of the rise in cases, obviously. The hurricanes that were coming this way but then never came. And back to school. It's been nobody here tonight. And we had friends that were here two weeks ago that like they couldn't, the parks were almost imaginable. Man manageable. Right, because it was so crowded. So, I mean, I, I feel like we've always suggested this time of year to people to come because of just back to school. We typically would say the first week of September. Yeah. Which I get like right before that. Right. But it is hot. Like, that, that is the one thing. I think the absolute best time to come is like February. The absolute best time to come is when you don't forget to put the heat on your dryer. When all your shorts are <laughs> in the dryer. And you have to wear your jeans to the park. <laughs> it's a wonderful shop. It's still not open. The wonderful world of animation. Do not be so fun. We have a pooper situation. <laughs> oh, we have to leave the show. With an entirely brand new outfit. And it clean took us. 
We might see the very finale of the show, but maybe not. We will spare you the details, but that was one. For the the only detail you'll get. Something hit the ground <laughs> in, in the like courtyard of Highland Studios. You've left your mark. <laughs> but I can't tell you, it looks like it's over. Yep. What we heard up before was a finale. It's like literally, James, you pooped at the very beginning. <laughs> and it took the entire show to get you all fixed. But hey. He saw some pyrotechnics. He did. He saw Frozen. He saw some fire and he loved it. And we'll just have to come back. Right? Mm-hmm. Now he's going to go to Crescent Lake. <gasps> oh, you love Vampirina and Doc McStuffin? Money, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like when mom has a bug in her place? <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, he's all in a chipper mood. You got an empty belly now. James, here. Ah! 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 Oh! It is humid. The bugs are loud tonight. Um, just James and I are walking over to Crescent Lake because Peter is stopping by the car to grab his running stuff. And he actually might beat us. I don't know how it'll go because it's just a quick 5K for him. Um, and then we're gonna hang out there, which I'm super excited about, obviously. Um, we haven't been back there since we have arrived. So, yeah, I just, this this is one of those walks that are like, you know, it's, it just feels right doing. All right, so Sarah is on the way to uh... Crescent Lake. I don't. I actually don't know where they're gonna hang out. I came to the car to grab my stuff to go on a run. Um, unfortunate news. I have to get a new pair of Trex Airs because the left earbud is not working, and I don't have socks. I'm going for three miles. The heels of these are still cushioned in cloth, so I may be doing like the most foolish running thing I've ever done before, but I think I'm about to go run this 5k sockless. Um, I'll let you know about my regrets tomorrow, but right now I'm just going to say I'm going to do it before I say no. All right. I was going to wait until I got to the bench over there to tie them, but right now, given there's no socks, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to go forward with the run. I still will hold all, um, regrets until tomorrow's vlog so we'll see but right now it doesn't feel unbearable i don't have too many miles on these and i think that's the key of why that heel part is still very well cushioned and cloth but i really hope i don't regret this but i really think i am wow looks like this area is getting a little oh no he woke up just a moment. Yeah, some sort of refurb is going on. I have never, ever seen it like this before. Did mommy take you out? So you could be happy. Get an AC break. Hmm. <laughs> He's like guilty. Guilty, guilty. This is a hat I have never seen before. That's cool straight up metal on there. This is also a hat I've never seen before. Pretty darn cute. If that isn't a magical way to end my 5K tonight, Epcot Forever finished me off. That is a hot, hot late night run. But felt good. And tomorrow, hopefully, this mop will be gone. Totally forgot these were at 10 and you're very awake. Oh. <laughs> we thought this might happen. Uh, you took two good naps today. Say it's Friday, mama. Getting a few extra blocks because Sarah texted me she's at the International Gateway Walks and the Fireworks. So I'm gonna meet her there. <gasps> Daddy made it! <laughs>
my goodness. Yeah. I am so sweaty. <laughs> I am so sweaty. I can't even imagine how sweaty you are. When it's late night and James is making this noise, it's him being sweet, but also just him keeping himself awake. He's happy. Yeah. And I'm sorry I'm on my phone, which is a couple generations old, does not have as good low light. And he wants Peter to hold him. But I am absolutely drenched in sweat. <laughs> Do you think we could come to the beach club without bringing our babe to the solarium and have him walk around? Nope. No way. Like we got here. Remember you ran the 10K? Yeah. You hung out over there. You keep on showing him when he's sleeping. Here is Mr. Man all awake. <laughs> Coast yummies happiness. What do you think? What do you think of Disney World? Yawn. <laughs> Don't worry, there's lots more fun to be had here. He was 10 it was on his 10th day on Earth. Yeah. He spent it at Disney. And many thereafter. Do you love Disney Junior or something? Are You're we very sure? Fixated. I think he was, he was six days, I mean, he was six days old when he came here. When he was 10 days old. That's what it was, because I was, I, I, can, I was conceited with that, <laughs> like that negotiation because he came, I wanted him to come to Disney World before he was a week old. Yes. So six days he came to a resort. Here. We did Tenth our day was Magic Kingdom. Wine and dine, which is crazy because that is coming up in person. And then ten days old, twenty on ten. Because he's almost one. Because he's a big old kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a kid in his solarium. That's all. Three months early. <gasps> Jamesy early just got balloons from a cast member. Like we're walking past the boat dock where like all the special firework Epcot boats. Park. Disembark and bark. <laughs> dock. And the customer's like, do you guys want some balloons? I'm like, he loves balloons. Now this is some Disney magic. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Got it. I just put James down to sleep. Hopefully he stays asleep. Sarah's editing the vlogs. I just realized what time it was. Dill, you got a good chunk left, I think. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. No. Um, we're going to sign off here because it's late. We love you guys. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We're becoming Universal Annual Passover tomorrow to the dark side. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.